I originally wrote the tea bucket book to help myself uh, so I wouldn't have to reinvent each piece that went in these tea bucket roadsters. And as the book progressed, I got to thinking, how, how about people out in the country that could do this just like I'm doing? And uh, if I can put it all clearly down in the book with enough pictures, then it'll help me each time I build a roadster to just go back over that book. That's the way the book got started. And it took me a year to write the book, taking the pictures and everything down. And, and then nobody was interested in publishing it because I wasn't a known author. So I decided to publish it myself. And then I found a, a printing company. To pay for that, I had to sell the tea bucket. And uh, I didn't know how the book would sell. I was just proud that I was able to do it, you know. And I'd have to come in and correlate each book and punch it and bind it in, in the nights because I had to keep working during the day, working on these tea buckets. And uh, I was only able to do three or four a night, you know, but I finally got all these out. And uh, I sent a book to some of the different publishers. Nobody was interested because I wasn't a known author, you know, so I decided to sell it myself. So I put a, a ad in the back of Rod Action magazine. Sold a few each month, you know, and they they did a whole big uh, book review in the center, and you know that gave me a little bit of swelled head, but not too much. Good. But eventually, we sold out that initial run of books, and uh, then I I took that copy from Rod Action magazine and one of the books, and I sent it to to Motor Books International, and they come back, they said, we think we can sell this book, but uh, we're going to have to rewrite some. Uh, and they p deleted 100 pages of it, you know, and all of my sarcastic comments and stuff that I had in there, they, they ruled out, you know, and a lot of the pictures, they started selling it, and I didn't get that much out of them. But I saw what they did to my book, and I was furious, and, and originally I made an agreement with them when it goes out of print the rights revert back to me after a few years they took it out of print sent all the the manuscript back to me and the original photographs and everything and and that was it and i just forgot about it for 20 years and then i come up here and to dallas visit and my daughter and she had a computer so she logged me into the internet once and i i thought well i'll see if anybody remembers my book and and geez, I punched in my book, and here's four pages of information on me in there. It just blew me away, you know. And, and I contacted John. He had written a real nice uh, review in there of me, and, and that's how the book got started, uh, putting it on the Internet. But originally, I made it to help myself for the next Roadsters I was building so I wouldn't have to go back and try to remember what I did, you know. And it just worked out so good for the roadsters I, I was able to make 12 roadsters out of the pages of that book and each one was identical but anyway that's how the uh, tea bucket book got started and it's gone from there